Which camera manufacturer makes the best lenses? Let's find out. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I'm going to find out which lens manufacturer makes the best lenses. But before I go into that, let me first thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Canon lenses are really awesome and they have a long tradition in lens making too. But those Nikon lenses are absolutely the best and Nikon has a long tradition in lens making too. But those Fujinon lenses are way above the rest and Fuji has always known how to make great lenses. I bet you have heard these kind of comments many times and I could continue until I have mentioned all the popular camera manufacturers or camera brands. But is there one camera manufacturer that stands way above the rest regarding their lenses? Let's find out. So to find the answer I went to a website called Optical Limits, formerly known as Photo Zone. You may have heard of them and I'll put the link down below just in case you have never heard of them. I like Optical Limits because they have a good and diverse selection of tested lenses from pretty much every popular camera manufacturer. And I also like their neutral unbiased style. And their data is relatively easy to access and read, which made my task a little bit easier. And this is what I did. I looked at every tested lens from every popular camera manufacturer listed here. I counted in only first party lenses and I counted in both DSLR and mirrorless lenses. And uh, from those manufacturers, who have both APS-C and full frame lenses, I counted in only the lenses tested on a full frame camera. Optical Limits has a five star rating system and I calculated the average star rating for every uh, camera brand regarding the optical quality of the lens. But before I tell you what I found out, let me first tell you how a class on Skillshare improved my video editing workflow. Skillshare is an online learning community. I joined in many months ago already. And on Skillshare I have found many classes that have improved my skills from baking to drawing and this time I was looking to improve my video editing workflow. And even though there are so many classes and topics on Skillshare, once again I managed to very quickly find out what I was looking for and that was a class called Final Cut Pro 10 Edit B-Roll by Brian Garcia. Brian shared some really excellent tips and tricks that made my video editing workflow so much smoother and less time consuming. And because Skillshare is the sponsor of this video, the first 1000 of my audience to click the link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And because Skillshare is adding classes all the time, I'm sure you too can find a class there that can improve your skills, whatever they are. So give it a try, click the link down below and start exploring. And the results are here. And based on this, it looks like Sony would be the winner and Nikon would be the loser. However, I'd like to point out very first that ni both Nikon and Canon had some really old lens designs included here and uh, some of those old designs are from the film era. And obviously those old designs don't do work so well on digital camera and uh, generally newer lenses tend to be better. Some of those old lenses can be fun, they can be, some of them can be sharp too, but um, usually newer lenses uh, perform better, especially if they are measured and compared. And of course all mirrorless lenses were relatively new designs because even the 
oldest mirrorless system, Micro Four Thirds, is uh, less than 14 years old. These results are from one lens testing website. But I still think we can conclude something from this. And that conclusion would be that none of these manufacturers are really not that much better than the rest. And all these camera manufacturers are quite equal lens manufacturers in the end. The average ratings vary from 3.28 to 3.46. So the differences are quite minor. Every manufacturer has some really mediocre lenses and every manufacturer has some really great lenses too. My personal experience is that you can make awesome pictures on pretty much any lens, as long as you understand the limits of the lens. For example, a kit zoom lens is probably not the best for indoor sports, but the kit zoom lens can still deliver great travel photos or landscape photos, for example. You are of course free to explore more lens testing websites and see if you can find information that is somehow significantly different from what I found. And if you do that, please do share your findings in the comments down below. And if you have some other thoughts you'd like to share on this topic, please do leave a comment down below. And also remember to go out and uh, use that awesome lens you have mounted on your camera, regardless of the lens brand. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.